How to cook fish wrapped in banana leaf. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're at London's top Malaysian restaurant, Awana. Head chef Mark Reed is going to show us how to prepare one of their signature dishes, fish cooked in banana leaf. Step one, you will need per portion, one butter fish steak, five grams of herb butter, you can either buy this or make it yourself by mixing fresh herbs into your butter. And one banana leaf. Most Asian food stores will stock these. For a Wana's special fish sauce, you will need 50 grams of onion, one garlic clove, a fresh red chilli, one stalk of lemongrass, half a tablespoon of belachan, which is a Malaysian variety of shrimp paste available from Asian food stores. Half a tablespoon of turmeric powder. And one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Here's that list again. You will also need the following utensils. A knife, a chopping board, some skewers, a fish slice, a baking tray and a bowl. Step 2. Prepare. Chop roughly one third from your onion. Peel it and slice it as finely as you can. You should end up with about two tablespoons worth. Roll the garlic bulb under your hand to separate the cloves. Take one clove and smash it under your hand. This will make it easy to peel. Chop finely. Trim the bottom off the lemongrass stalk. Peel away the outer leaf. Cut roughly 10 centimeters from the bottom and discard the rest. Slice into four pieces and then chop finely. This will give you about a tablespoon's worth. Cut roughly three centimeters from the bottom of the red chili and slice it open. Unless you want a very spicy dish, scrape out any seeds and then cut into strips. Finely dice. You will end up with about a teaspoon of very hot chopped chili. Step three, the fish sauce. Put the chopped onion, garlic, lemongrass and chili into a bowl. Add half a tablespoon of belachan, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and half a tablespoon of turmeric. Mix well to form a spicy paste. Step four, the banana leaf. Warming the banana leaf will make it more pliable and release the flavor. We're using a grill to do this, but you can also use a griddle or oven grill. Heat to a high temperature and place the banana leaf directly on the heat for a few seconds. Then flip it to the other side for a few more. If you're using a grill or oven, place it on a shelf for about half a minute. Next, place the leaf on a flat surface and trim off the top and bottom. Step five, wrap the fish. Put the fish in the center of the leaf and spread over some herb butter. Spoon on the paste. Make sure that the fish is evenly covered. Fold one side of the leaf over the fish and then wrap. Gather the bottom of the leaf together and weave a skewer through to secure it. Do the same with the top of the leaf. Fold in the end and skewer it together. Step six, oven grill. Preheat your oven grill to a medium temperature. Top tip. Place the wrapped fish on a scorching hot grill for about 20 seconds. Then flip it over and do the other side. Scorching the leaf in this way will infuse the fish steak with its flavor and it looks good. Transfer the wrapped fish onto a baking tray. Slide it onto the lower shelf on the grill and cook for seven to eight minutes on each side. Step seven, serve. Remove the leaf wrap parcel from the oven grill. Trim the ends and slice through the middle of the banana leaf. Peel back the sides and transfer to a serving plate. We're going to garnish ours with a lime. Top tip, roll the lime under your hand to create more juice. Slice off a wedge and add to the plate. Fish and banana leaf is a wonderful main course served with boiled rice and salad. It's great with either a chilled dry white wine 
or fruity red. Done.